Which lightweight concrete should you use? I get so many comments from people reaching out to me and asking me about lightweight concrete mix design because I made a YouTube series kind of comparing a bunch of different lightweight concrete aggregates like vermiculite and perlite, things like this. Aircrete, even like this sample block here that I've got in front of me. In almost all of these situations, the answer to which lightweight concrete they should use for their specific project when I became involved and I learned the details from it. In every example, it was actually not a lightweight concrete at all that was most beneficial to them. In theory, it sounds good. Concrete's super heavy. Why don't we just circumvent that altogether and we'll just use lightweight concrete? The problem is, is that the amount of weight that you reduce is not proportional to the strength loss of pretty much every lightweight concrete. So the end result is, is that a properly designed full strength, full weight mix at the appropriate thickness for adequate strength for whatever it is you're working on is more often than not the answer to which lightweight concrete should you use. Really not a lightweight one at all, just a full strength one properly designed without excess because if you have excess that's where it weighs a lot. And there's a lot you can do with thinner concrete applications over steel armatures and things like that. The fact that the answer to which lightweight concrete mix design you should use is actually not a lightweight concrete mix design at all. That's not, you know, a fault of lightweight concrete necessarily. More so, it is a plus for concrete in general, which is the most versatile building material on the planet. It gets used more than anything else in construction because of how widely versatile it is. So as it turns out, it's versatile enough to be better than lightweight concrete aggregates. If it's not for the strength equation, because of the amount of strength that you lose when you switch to lightweight concrete mixed design, if for the cost. The cost of concrete or mortar is as cheap as it gets, and it's available pretty much everywhere in the world. As soon as you substitute your aggregates out to a lightweight one of any kind, it's going to cost you orders of magnitude more for the same amount of yield of finished product versus a full strength, full weight concrete or mortar application. And so lightweight concrete is a niche fringe thing. It's not useful in a ton of applications. More often than not, you can achieve similar if not better results by using an optimally designed full strength, full weight mix application. It's still pretty cool. There are some unique applications for it. It's just that maybe it's more often than not the best possible option. There are better options for you. It's gonna cost less, it's gonna last longer, that kind of thing. I hope you found this information helpful.